anywhere, anybody's house or anything like that, and come back out. And man, she'll, you know, I, I can, what's, what's going on? And, and she'll say, something not right in there or, or something. I mean, she just picks up on it. She knows. She has spiritual sight. They see things that the rest of us often miss completely. I, I, Diane and Katie again. Page 35. The perceiver has a special responsibility of having a clear and sound eye with which to detect God's truth. You know, I, 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 I have to use me as an example because I'm wide open. Y'all know me. I'm wide open. You know, I'm, I'm wide open and free. <laughs> and Joy will tell me, well, I thought you told us a long time ago that the Bible said this, this, and this. And I have to succumb to that and say, you're right. You're right. Okay. <laughs> they have a special responsibility of having a clear and sound eye with which to detect God's truth. How many times have you said, are you sure, John, that that's God? Are you sure? You know? I mean, I feel like it is. I've prayed about it for 10 days. Y'all know my 10 days. Yeah. And, and let, unless it's something yeah. like changing careers or something like that, yeah. I, I, I give most everything 10 days. Yeah. I pray about it for 10 days. Because a lot of things can go up and down in my spirit in 10 days. Yeah. And finally, after about 7 or 8 days to 10 days, it starts settling in. Mm -hmm into a certain position, a certain way, I mean, they're getting that inner witness of a, a piece or a check. It's like, then I know, okay, I can, I can either go with it or no. At least right now, I, I don't need to take that step, okay? Uh, of all the members, this is the person who cannot afford pollution or sin in their life. If they do, let me read it as they word it, in his life. If he does, his sight becomes uh, we're going to look at some characteristics of the perceiver and they talk about this a little bit again. In their page 55, a discovery you're God giving gifts, according to Bible scholars, the prominent idea of prophecy in the New Testament is not prediction, not saying what's fixing to come, okay? I mean, you might say, well, you know, I. I I can predict that. Well, you're probably operating by the by the Spirit through a, a word of wisdom. Word of wisdom is uh, it, it it predicts the future. It tells what's on the way. Okay. Um, the prominent idea of prophecy in the New Testament is not prediction, but the inspired delivery of number one warning or caution, exhortation. Instruction, judging, and making manifest the secrets of the heart. Now, you can you can think I pick on my wife a whole lot during these teachings. I know, but if you think about everything we've said so far, if you think about joy and how she operates around you, and she's probably more intimate with women than she is with men in, the, in this area, okay, for the obvious reasons. But, I mean, she can even tell you sometimes the secrets of your heart. She can see into that, or at least enough to say something that God wants her to say that will help you. Yeah. Don and Katie again, pages 55 through 70. It, 70. These are the characteristics of the perceiver. Number one, they quickly and accurately identify good and evil and they hate evil. Now let me say this, or go back to last week when we talked about these are characteristics of the gifts in, 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 in their, the gift's purity, okay? They're, they're, the gifting in you may not be in a pure state yet. There may be obstacles in your life that keeps the, the pure characteristics from coming forward. Fear, for example. Okay, uh, there might be anything that would keep them from uh, becoming pure, or maybe there's one characteristic that's real strong in you, and another characteristic that, that's not. It just hasn't reached a place in your life yet where that characteristic 
is to be developed, okay? But these are the characteristics and the purity. They quickly and accurately identify good and evil, and they hate evil. Have you ever known somebody like that? Okay. They're going to do that. I don't care. I mean, you scratch skin off my arms. I ain't going to do it. All right? You probably got a perceiver on you, but you might have. Sees everything is either black or white. There's no gray or indefinite areas. Oh, boy, I live with one of these now. You ought to live with one of them. Wow. <laughs> It's either right or it's wrong. You can't shade, I, you can't, you can't color anything except it's black or white. That's, that's it. It's either right or wrong, you know? Wow. Easily perceives the character of individuals and groups. Walk in a room, oh, I'm wrong. Don't know who it's with or it's with the whole group, whatever. Something's not right in here. Something's going in the wrong direction. Or with an individual. Same thing. Encourages repentance that produces a change of heart. <laughs> it, 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 I mean, she works on me all the time. You know? <laughs> Y'all have to understand, I was one wild dude back before I, right when I, I got saved when I was 38 right. years old. I was a whiskey drinking, I mean, car racing, car salesman, man, I mean, and everything that went along with all of that. Y'all can't picture me that way, can you? <laughs> nope. It's something that changes you, you know. Holy Ghost yes. changes yes. you. Amen. Even the way you look. Amen. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I get repentant. I mean, she gets, she lays it on the table. I get repentant. You're right, Joy. You're right, Joy. <laughs> <laughs> I practice on you. <laughs> Believes accepting difficulties can produce positive personal growth. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I like positive personal growth, okay? It's just this accepting difficulty part I don't like, all right? <laughs> Joy calls it struggle. She was talking to me just the other day on the way to Memphis, was on the way or way back, about long suffering, the fruit of the Spirit, <laughs> patience, you know? And see, my patient level has improved greatly, but she still, she wants to, you know, I mean, I, I went from like a, a one to a four real. You know, I mean, I, it took me a while, but the Holy Ghost worked on me. I'm up at about a four or five on a ten-point scale right now. See, she wants me a ten. <laughs> and I, I, you know, accepting difficulties. She thinks that if I can just, I mean, just carry these burdens, just learn to live with them. You know, that I'm going to have a good character. And I just like believing the Bible says, I, I, I don't look at all those verses. I pick out the verses, yeah, verses about do. abundant life. Okay. <laughs> and I, Jesus came that I may have life and life of abundance, yeah. praise God. Amen. And he's able to do exceedingly abundantly over and above all that I can ever ask or think. He's Amen. given me authority over all the power of the devil. And, and so nothing by any means can hurt me. That's where I like it. But, but no, I, God put me with a, <laughs> one of those. <laughs> All right. Has only a few or no close friendships. All right. Now, they've got a lot of acquaintances, but they don't have any real or very few Super close friends. Mm -hmm. Today, most people don't have a whole lot of close friendships anyway. Views the Bible as the basis for truth, belief, action, and authority. Mm -hmm. Boldly operates on spiritual principles. She's working on it. Okay. That's one of those that she, you know, she hadn't arrived at it yet, and she's working on it. Man, we listened to Joyce Myers on the way home from Memphis. Well, we listened to her on the way down, then listened to her on the way back, didn't we? 
Oh, and joy she was. She had it on believe to receive and calling those things which be not as though they were. She had me shouting in that car. I, Glory! Listen to Joyce. I like that lady. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't matter what it looks like. Just act like it is what the Bible says it is. I'm healed in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm prospering in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. All of my bank accounts, I mean, they're, they're full. Amen. And I... I, I I have zero balances on all my credit card accounts and Amen. my mortgage accounts. Praise God. That's what I see because I see what's in the Word. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. <laughs> She's working on it. She's working on it. Praise God. It's Frank. Doesn't mean as opposed to being Elizabeth or William or anything. No, it's Frank is open and honest, okay? It's, it's Frank outspoken and doesn't mince words. Now, that's probably one reason that they don't have many friends, okay? <laughs> they're going to tell you like it is. Now, see, she's, she's linked up with another gift that kind of, the, the two giftings struggle on the inside of her. She's mm -hmm. got the compassion gifting as well, see? Well, it's hard for her to be outspoken completely and not mince words with the people when she, all she can see, I mean, she just wants to cry every time she sees anybody because she sees all the hurt. She sees everything that you're going through. She, she wants to, she senses it. She knows it. She, she wants to help, you know? She says she, she used to be a fixer, what she called a fixer. She mm -hmm. wanted to fix everything with everybody. And I think most perceivers are that way. Okay, I'm gonna try to get off of you, baby. So I won't. No, you're fine. I won't speak. Okay. <laughs> it, it, she's a very persuasive speaker. If you've ever listened to her, I'm not. I mean, she does. She's doing well up here behind the pulpit. I think she's doing that. Yeah. But, but I'm talking about one on one. She's pretty right. persuasive, you know. Uh, she usually has my attention, and uh, <laughs> I, she grieves deeply over the sins of others. And I can agree with that about her. Is eager to see his or her own blind spots and to help others see theirs too. Well, she's, part of that's true about her, the latter part, but the former part, yeah, I, I think she's working on that as well, okay? And, but, but the perceiver, uh, they want to know where they're wrong. They want to see it because they want to yeah. change. They, they, they want to be, I mean, right where God wants them to be. And if they have to change something in their life, they'll change it. And they want to see other people doing that too. They go to meddling then, so that's why they don't have any friends. All right. <laughs> Desires above all else to see God's plan worked out in all situations. Strongly promotes the spiritual growth of groups and individuals. I know in my marriage, she's a plus in that area. I feel like she's a plus in that area in this church. Amen. I don't know if you do. That's your yes. opinion. You know, I mean, you're Amen. privileged to think otherwise. But I, I think she she does with individuals and groups. Uh, is called to intercession. Now, this is one that is, you know, I mean, I've, I've met perceivers who they they just don't have. You know, you know the people that got to pray. Mm -hmm. You know that. I mean, the, one who's, well, the people that got to pray on them, are the, there's nothing wrong if you don't have to pray on them, okay? That doesn't mean you don't pray. But, right. but if you're called to intercession, if you, got to pray, if you really got to pray on you, man, you're, you can't wait to get out of that car or truck and get down here with everybody you know, on Sunday morning or Wednesday night and start praying, moving things around in the Spirit. Use in Jesus' name to get the attention of the devil. Amen. Take a whip him of his authority. That we have dominion over him. Yes. Yeah. Amen. I mean, to do it in prayer Amen. realizes that when we're praying, it, we don't fight flesh and blood. It may be a person that's coming through, but it's not them. It's the enemy that's operating in and through them. Yeah. yeah. And when you're an intercessor, you want to get in that. I mean, you do that at home, not just at church. You have your own little place, maybe. A whole little closet. You ever watch War Room? I mean, she had her own little closet. Man, she yeah. got in there. She whipped up on the devil and praised God and everything. Amen. 
They're called to intercession. Now, maybe something that you are a perceiver and, and you don't feel like you're called to intercession. And maybe so there's some things in your life that God, uh, you know, that something's got to melt away, got to be moved away before you really feel that, that grab on you to pray. See, I'm not an intercessor, but I love to pray. Man, I got to pray on me. Man, you call to pray, I'm, I'm coming. Okay? See, an intercessor, they're not going to just pray with people at, at uh, 1030 in the morning on Sunday and 630 on Wednesday nights. Uh, they, some of them are going to be looking for other prayer meetings with people that are like-minded, that they fit in with. And usually in real intercessory prayer groups monitor who they allow in their prayer group. Yeah. They won't let just anybody in. You know, you got to, and, and, and if, you, if they let you in, it's just for a probationary period. You know, I mean, they want somebody that's going to be in agreement with them, that's going to follow leadership. It's not going to be a, a, a somebody that gets out of order real quick. They want somebody that, that fits in. I mean, because they're, they're doing business for God, for the kingdom, praise God. Now, I, I used to be involved in an intercessory prayer group in, in Memphis. Uh, do you all remember? I mean, I was the only man in probably a, a 12, 13, 14 uh, group of women. And, but they, they, they let me in. You know? Why? Not because I was an intercessor, but because I was a strong prayer warrior. And I wanted to pray with people. Amen. But see, see I, I can pray. I mean, I, I can get, I can get like most of y'all in the room, I can get over in that place of power and the Spirit. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. And, but see, you, when you get in some of these intercessory groups, yeah. and that travail uh, comes upon them, you know, and I, mean, I remember the first time at this little country boy here, he was in the prayer meeting, and man, he was, I was entering in. I was, when it was my turn, I was praying, you know, and I was in an agreement with all of them. And then all of a sudden, I hear this, this wail. This, oh, oh, oh. And I, I look over, and this woman, she slowly, it had to be supernatural. I don't think you could go down that slow, okay? But she was slowly going down to the, to the floor. I mean, and I, I can't even go that slow, you know. And by, by, by the time she got down to the floor, man, she was just, I mean, she was, oh, and it, it didn't say, I looked around, it didn't bother anybody else. Nobody was looking. Nobody paid any attention to it. And I thought, God, what is wrong with that woman? <laughs> then I found out later, at travail. travail. That's what they do. You know, if you're in an inter intercessory prayer group, fortunately we don't have that kind of intercessory prayer group here. But, <laughs> but there are some. If you join one, that you would you would come across that. Okay, all right. And I, I mean, I you know when you when you're watching, you think that can't be a God. But that woman has been praying. She was a, a little bit of an older woman. She'd been praying. I mean, she was a pretty powerful prayer warrior. I, I, I couldn't begin to say that she, what she was doing was out of order. I mean, wasn't out of order because nobody else seemed to mind, not even the leader, you know. I mean, they just all just doing their praising and praying. You know? They're called intercession. I, sorry, I ran on the rabbit trail on that. Say, that's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. okay, they feel, perceive or feels the need to verbalize or dramatize what he or she sees. <laughs> they, they, they Dramatic about it, expressive about it. Praise God, Hallelujah. Yeah. Uh, and I, you know, I'll have to tell you, my wife is a little bit more. Y'all don't really see one hundred percent of what Joy is. She's at, at home. She's sometimes, not always, but she she dramatizes things. You know, <laughs> and certainly verbalizes things. Bang on the table. Okay, for what she sees. Tends to be introspective. Um, they, you have a tendency to to look inward, to, uh, 
have a tendency to, at times when God is talking to you, to be quiet. Uh, has strong opinions and convictions. Now, we know people with strong convictions and opinions, and it doesn't necessarily make them a, a, a perceiver, okay? They just got a strong opinion. She was a highly opinionated. That's all they are, okay? And, uh, and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that, especially one with strong conviction. I mean, there are people with strong convictions that uh, I, you know, I think they're being a little legalistic, but that's not me to, for me to judge, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not living their life. Has strict personal standards. You know, I mean, they, they live a certain way, they walk a certain way, they dress a certain way, they have, you know, uh, uh, things that are, the, the yard is cut, the, you know, uh, routinely and edged and things like that. I mean, they take care of things, okay? And uh, it just seems to be one of them. Desires to be obedient to God, uh, this is what Don and Katie wrote, at all costs. Mm. I mean, if they lose a friend, if somebody doesn't understand them, if they get persecuted, I mean, and persecution doesn't mean that you get thrown in jail and whipped. I mean, you can be persecuted just in your own group of peers, you know? I mean, people all of a sudden just kind of, you know, talking behind your back and whatever. They desire to be obedient to God at all costs. Now, I'm going real quickly. Oh, we still got 10 more minutes, right? Uh, Don and Katie again. Problems of the perceiver. <laughs> the perceiver tends to be judgmental and blunt, okay? Now, when mixed with another compassion uh, gifting, see, see how another gifting will kind of change the characteristics of one gifting. Uh, Joy's not judgmental, and it, except for me, she, I don't think she's blunt to anybody, is she? <laughs> you know? uh, forgets to praise partial progress due to goal consciousness. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'm this way. Uh, I'm 